here we are on a beautiful afternoon. This is a winter's afternoon, but you see it's not a cloud in the sky, nice and sunny. It's uh, 16 degrees, so not too bad. And we're uh, heading on our way from uh, Hamilton down to Tongunui, and I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to go uh, from Tongunui across to Telpo or further down and across the top end of the, uh, the north end of Ruapehu Tongariro or even further and go around the southern end of Ruapehu and Tongariro but it depends what the time's like and uh, how dark it's getting in the afternoon type thing because it's currently about 3 o'clock so see how we go Sunny Tamanui We're all fueled up and uh, leaving Tamanui and only a few k's up the road here is a place called Mananui and just there normally you'd go right on through to um, National Park but you can actually turn there and head straight towards Telpa you know, it's uh, getting kind of darkish now sort of uh, starting to cool down a bit so uh, that's the plan Let's see what's uh, down this way, shall we? Nice little stream. Ah, so uh, according to the maps program, we've still got 122 k's to go, and it's going to take us uh, till about uh, almost seven o'clock. So the uh, frost light has come on. It was flashing for a bit there, and now it's come on solid because it's trying to tell me that it's three degrees. So it's cold. Uh, interesting enough, I had kind of noticed that it was cold. So how's this for a moonlit evening, eh? Yeah. The tree next to where I pitched my tent was colourfully lit up. Yummy curry for my favourite Indian restaurant. The shower block had a thermally heated floor, and as it was going below freezing for the night, the perfectly dry shower cubicle started to look like a Japanese hotel room to me. The next morning, everything was frozen. Strange enough, no one else was camping here. I wonder why. The uh, plan for today was to uh, just have a nice little couple of hours of turtle back home through the main highway from Telpo. But uh, it's such a gorgeous day today. I mean, look at this blue skies, not bad temperatures, it's all late. Um, and look how clean the mountain looks. So I couldn't resist. It's a long way, but I'm going to go all the way down and around Ruapehu and, uh, and then back home. So it's going to be about five or 600 k's, but um, I think it'll be worth it. I'll get home probably in the dark again, but again, hopefully it'll be a, a worthwhile day. So the end goal will be to go around that today, and if I get really keen, I might even go up it and see what the view's like from up top. Beautiful, huh? got to National Park and I looked at, around up the mountain and saw this and I thought oh that's just too gorgeous a day to not go up there and have a look see so we're taking the detour make me a bit late home but I think it'll be worth it Ruapehu on the right now we're on the left and then Tongariro to the left of that this big building up here on the left is called the Chateau it's currently a uh, hotel accommodation but uh, years ago when it was first conceived, it was actually a prison. Uh, out in the middle of nowhere here, I guess it would be a challenging one to try and escape from. So we're just reaching the top of the mountain road, the top car park area, and uh, compulsory few photos up there. And although the camera doesn't do it justice, it was a fantastic view from the top before we uh, head around and head on back down again. I've still got about three hours before I make it back home, but all in all, a fantastic trip.